Okay, welcome to um, a new f format of um, painting outdoors. Um, now I've been doing these videos for a while on YouTube and um, well, they're grand, but they take up quite a lot of my time and I'd actually prefer to be painting. I just, hold on, I just want to check that my um, connections there after the microphone is working. Um, so anyway, I decided to try and make it a bit more um, practical. So the, uh, <laughs> these videos are going to be a bit more um, rough and ready, you could say. No uh, drones and fancy shots. But anyway, I'm down to the, going down to the waterfront to sketch. I uh, just wanted to get going because uh, I've been on a, a, a week's holiday. Okay, I've reached the, um, the waterfront here. Um, Quarren Homan. And um, down here, there's a, a little table in the corner there hidden away and um, I won't be bothered if I paint there. So I'm just, basically like I said, I just want to paint anything really, just to get going. And this is my mission for the day. Just get going. Um, I think we, too many of us are just um, um, thinking that ah, tomorrow I'll do it and then something else comes up. The most important thing is just to do it. It doesn't have to be great. Let's go down here anyway, and um, hopefully I don't kill myself trying to get down on my trolley. Just say I'm stairs over here, so I'll go for that. Right, I've reached the spot, and um, first things first, a cup of coffee. Okay, um, got the paper ready, um, pencil at the ready, and um, I'm just going to sketch that scene. I think I'll just do um, this little house here. and. Um, try and get a little ferry um, when you come. And, um, yeah. I've done my little pencil sketch. It was actually a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. Always is, that case. Um, but, um, there's balconies on that apartment over there. And um, I just wanted to capture that. My f little center focus is going to be these little guys here. I don't know if you can see them. Um, and then I'm just going to try and make this some, some gradations. There's some nice pink in the sky. Nice, um, so I'm gonna put in some pink, pink to get the heat. The unbelievable heat. I mean, it is warm today. I'm not complaining. Um, okay, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, okay, so um, let's um, get into this and uh, see what happens. Okay, um, my little setup's ready here. Um, yeah. So, um, here's my field easel. Um, actually, one of the um, pallets broke off, so um, I might have to replace this soon. We'll see. I can get away with having a little dish or something. But anyway, this is my dish for um, sponging off. Okay, got my brushes. Um, these are um, scooters. Travel brushes. So these are actually Charles Reed, um, who's passed away. Uh, rest in peace, Charles Reed. He was my first um, teacher. You could say using I used DVDs to learn how to watercolor, and um, he was the first guy I learned from. I was actually thinking of not um, showing you the actual me painting this, just kind of doing some cuts, but um, simple enough. So. Um, and that'll just be at the bottom. I don't talk so much when I'm painting. It's like, um, it's distracting. Then we go to a pale blue. And there's a bit of yellow on my palette, which makes it green. Should be a green sky, which isn't good. Okay, so I'm just very, very pale blue here. I'm gonna have to make this stand out somehow, It'll be more contrasting. So I'm trying to be as subtle as possible. It's a warm summer's day. Go a bit stronger up here.
And I'm trying to remember myself that this is just a sketch. I'm going to let that run down a little bit. So now, just taking off some excess there. That's looking nice. Um, again, the sky is reflected in the water, so you want similar colours. This is gr dark in the shade, I mean. Um, a little bit of turquoise, too much probably. Anyway, let's go, let's go. That's feeling warm. Darker. What will I do? I'll keep it, um, keep it light. Um, I was going to put this in the shade straight away. The actual the buildings have got a kind of a very light, um, light creamy color. Actually, I've got no place to paint on my palette. Oh, I have to get a new. Improve my um. Need a very warm. But this to be very um, watery. This. I don't really don't want it to um, interfere. Just, just want to put a bit of heat into this. Just hardly notice it. It's drying very quickly today. I'm just gonna. It's because it's a warm day. Just kind of give kind of a purpley grey buildings at the back. They um, really, really, really shouldn't um, take too much attention. So I'm trying not to fiddle too much. I want my pier there to bloody hell. Waves coming, attacking me here. That would be great. Um, as few brush strokes as possible is always good. Um, these are trees, so they have to change a bit of colour. So let's put a little hint of. Um, Very little. Putting those greys, so it's. I don't know if you can see my palette there. Put that blue from the sky, and I'm just going to darken it, put a little bit of purple in it to warm it up. Yeah. I think I'll just quickly just color everything in. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just have a little bit of things going on. Some light coming here but that doesn't really exist. But um, I just want to um has to be some kind of feeling of light. It's totally okay to cheat, by the way. I'm recording this good. I never know if I'm recording or not. Um, which means I've changed the light. The actual light is coming from another position, but so that means I have to darken this. Just 
totally okay, no one will know the difference when I'm finished. Actually, I will. Mm, okay. So this will have to, I have to change the light around. That's what I have to do. So this will be my... Ooh. Okay. Well, let's not say anything. It's a sketch after all. Um, I have a problem there. It's not going to be correct, correct. But anyway, who cares? Let's go. These windows have a little bit of green in them, which I like. Makes them windowy. I'm not being very... accurate with my um, source of light. I'm going to pay the price for this. It could fail. Do it once, hard to do it twice. But I let the uh, gravitation there work. Okay. Happy enough with that. Um, this guy has shadow underneath. At this stage, I'm not actually looking at the, um, the scenery. I'm just um, putting in a bit of design. Okay, this should be darker. Ooh, not dark. It's okay. It'll lighten up as well, I hope. It's very dark. Might be a mistake, that. Huh? Let's see. I want that to continue down. Hmm. You know that. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do here. Mm. Don't to see that line, so this has to be all. Let me play around with uh, washes. Uh, I'm going to have a. I'm going to darken this area here. So. Very turquoisey, I don't know, whatever. I'll do so. just stylized. But I want a feeling of um, waves here. Mm. I think I'll go dark here. You'll notice that um, this is wet. So. I 
fingers down to get them nice back into the water. I want to, for effect, I want to put some black in here that will run down. Just for fun. It's watercolor, so um, let it work, do its magic. Okay, I think I'm going to stop now for a second. Wow. that. Just putting a few more ripples. Hmm, could be a bit more blue. That one? Yeah, let's see. Question is when to stop. Or oh, stop too late. I think this can't be totally white. Oh. Might regret this. Since I'm taking up too much attention. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, just take off the tape. So we do that. Gets a little frame. And yeah, you get the idea. That's that. Um, very happy with that. I haven't been sketching for a few weeks, like I say, and um, so this is just a great way of getting back into it. Okay, if you liked the video, uh, give it a like, it helps me a lot, and um, subscribe if you don't want to miss future episodes. Paint safely, and um, see you next time. Okay, cheers, bye.